everybody and welcome back to another video of Jurassic World Alive where you have seen the thumbnail and the title. It could be very likely. It could also be a glitch. I'm not sure. I think the fact of its own its existence in Jurassic World Alive is proof enough that it could be coming and it would kind of make sense, right? So, what am I talking about? Of course, I'm talking about the Locust. If you've seen Dominion, you know that, well... <laughs> And if we go into, if we go into a sanctuary that has the scorpions, I thought that the scorpions were going to attack the goat because Jurassic World Alive put out a video of uh, a goat being scared by scorpions. And I was like, oh God, no, we're going to see how scorpions kill a goat. This is going to be horrific. <laughs> but it doesn't. In fact, it glitches. If I click feed, you'll notice something weird happens. Something appears on the scorpion for two seconds and then vanishes. It's almost like it, it's generated with a sort of fade in animation and then it vanishes. No idea why, no idea what it is, but if you look at it, I say no idea what it is, it's very clear it is a locust or a grasshopper. Now, it could be likely that this is what the scorpions eat. Not everything eats goats. So for instance, if we feed, you know, uh, Blue here, sorry, Beta here, even though you can hear a goat, even though there shouldn't be, there's no goat there, it's eating a chunk of meat. And this changes depending on the dinosaur. Sometimes it's fish, sometimes it's just like a feeder. But the thing is, there's a lot of different things that kill goats, and it's not just big dinosaurs like a T-Rex. For instance, if we put in a compi, you know, this is another flock creature. It's probably the similar size to a scorpion in, in game. Obviously not in real life, I don't know. But if we click feed in here, there is a goat and it is horrendous which is why the one of the reasons why i was like oh god we're gonna see how they kill the goat is because of this now the compi was part of an update and it was like the big part of an update it was like where well, you get the compi there's compi gen 2 and compi's very good it was the first introduction to flocks and they were way op and they still spearhead the meta in Jurassic world life so it would make sense that when we get a scorpion you know, this is the new thing. The, there's an apex. There is the, you know, there's a, uh, a unique to make from this uh, epic DNA that we would see it, you know, kill a goat, right? And they showed it in Jurassic World Live uh, on, on their Twitter page. So, but the thing is, if you, if you look, if you pause it like right there, that is 100% locust. Because if you look at it, it looks like this locust might jump in front. The first scorpion attacks it. And then let's go and it jumps backwards and then the others like tear it apart and eat it. And then they're all like, yay, we kill it. It's 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 hard to say. The fact that this scorpion stings quite low to me means that maybe it could be the locust. But the fact that they've even put it in and locust in Dominion had such a big part on the plot that, you know, it's very likely that we're looking at maybe getting locusts in the future. The fact that we even have a prehistoric scorpion opens the doors to so many different creatures in the game. You could get Arthur Plura, like the giant centipede. You could get giant dragonflies. And now we're locusts are a thing. And it would make sense. You know, we have a Trociraptors. A Trociraptors, a Trociraptors played such a small role in all the franchise, as in everything but the movie. <laughs> Basically, any toys and any video games, they're everywhere except for Just World Evolution. I'm sure that'll come with a new DLC, however. That being said, I feel quite confident in saying that we may get locusts soon. And it would make sense, right? Like, it, it like locusts would have made sense rather than scorpions. Uh, <laughs> but obviously, they've had scorpions locked in for a while, and scorpions are cool. I'm happy to have both. But anyway, this leads on to more scorpion news because if we go into here i don't think i've placed them in deliberately because i want to use them in uh, i need to fuse it and i need to possibly make one as well uh where are you you're level 19 oh god there's so many level 20s haha there you are so finally unfortunately i only died like four or five out of nine scorpions because i completely forgot even though it was two days i'm an idiot and time flew away from me and it was 1 a.m and i went Oh no, because it clocks over at 12. So, however, you know, after opening all those other incubators, I had a load of food and supplies and interactions to use, and I thought I would use those on the scorpions, because why not? So now we have a level 20 scorpion, we have a level 20, uh, what's it called, the uh, Bergier thing, and now we can do five fuses of the Sunga Scorpius. Now I'm, oh no! 
10 fuses. Hey. Unfortunately, we can't do multiples. So minimum we're going to get from here is 100 DNA. That's a minimum. I would be... I mean, already we've got a 20. So minimum is 110. But we'll see. I don't think we're going to unlock it. If we do, we are very lucky. If I just all of a sudden get 100, even then, we need to probably get another 100 <laughs> before we do it. Um, and as you can quite clearly see, it is so unfortunate that this game decides to be stingy. I mean, okay, give us 10s, but at least make the, the number you need to make to unlock it less. Because it is just so disheartening. And I think that's what the problem is with this game. Oh, you fuse it. So I'm, I'm having a lozenge. Uh, <laughs> when you get one and you finally, you've got enough DNA. Like, oh, I'm going to give it a pop. What do I get? Oh, well, there you go. That's a 50. But the majority of the time it's 10s. And that's just like a feels bad. A at least, you know, make the number smaller. So when I do get a 10, it's not too bad. Otherwise, I look at it and go, oh, 10, sweet. <laughs> the, I, I don't know. Maybe that's not the right way to do it. There's definitely a way to rework the system, I feel, to make it more rewarding for the player. Because, you know, if you were to just get 200 scorpion DNA, because it's not out there in the world, you can't dart it. You have to feed them. And what, you max you get maybe seven or eight DNA per each one. So you can do three of those per one. That's maybe 20. You can do 10. 10 freaking scorpions. 10 of each. <laughs> it's so many. And then you get one pop and you get 20. And you're like, Eek. and that's it. <laughs> so here we go. I said the minimum we could get is 100. And we got 180. We almost got an average of 20 each time. Yes, we got a 50, but we got like five or six tens, uh, unfortunately. But uh, you know, 180 out of 250, we're getting there. I probably could have got maybe three or four more pops if I had remembered. Um, and of course, the game will now tell you, hey, you know this? You could spend 45 quid to get one pop. <laughs> Honestly, it's not worth it. it. It really isn't. And oh, there's another one even. Hold on. What was this one? This gives you 200 oats for less. You know what? Oh, maybe not. <laughs> uh, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. Uh, anything interesting on the map? No Triceratops. We'll have a look at our team because it's, we're getting somewhere. Um, I've decided to put Tyranno Valkyrie on my team. Major the reason I think... I, well, the reason I've done this to justify is basically a lot of people don't know what to do against Tyranodon Valkyrie. It does now have a swap in attack and, a, uh, uh, you know, attack increase, which is very good. Um, and basically, you know, I, I managed to see some of the top players. I saw what they were doing. You know, I screenshotted a lot of their stats and I was like, okay, this is why this works. Um, the dispersed raking impact is just very good. It, it cleanses. It cleanses. It goes through dodge. And pretty much that's a comps or raptor killer. So... You know, if they reduce your attack, doesn't matter. If they have a cloak, doesn't matter. You kill them. Uh, the only problem is you need, you know, it needs to be level 30. It needs to get a few more boosts in order for it to kill out, uh, you know, Compsoraptor instantly. Good news as well, you got the alert scroll, which can make them swap. Very, very good. Um, and another big change is Emperor to Sutures. I've taken a lot of attack off. It was 2,500. Now it's 2,256. And it's got a lot more health. And it needs that in order to survive against certain things. Especially, you know, if that one surviving one more turn means that you can get health back, get an attack increase, stun them. It's worth it. Um, no referendum, I haven't changed much. We now have a level 28 Tyranno Medrodon. I know, right? Crazy. Yeah. May have bought the incubator. <laughs> um, but again, it's not that I'm running out of... Um, oh, God, here we go. Yes! I'm not running out of Rexy DNA because we just had the event and darted two of them. I got terrible. I got like 110 each time because Rexy is a pain in the butt to dart. I'm sure every oh my! Oh, there's all my good luck. Where were you? Where were you when I was getting the blooming scorpion? Fine. Surprise! Someone doesn't have it maxed up already somehow. I bet they would have. <laughs> and here we go. So this is actually quite a lot. Um, and we may even get. Or am I being? Hmm, if it's 200 a pop, which it probably is. I'm probably being a bit too optimistic. Yes, I'm being very optimistic. <laughs> we can give it a shot though. Oh, I could do five. Oh, see, that's the problem. When it comes to Apex and fusing Apexes, I feel like I get my luck turns. For some reason, in the code, Apexes, very rarely will I get tens. It'll minimum be 20. And that makes sense, right? Because it's even more expensive and costs more DNA to do it. Um, but now it's, I feel like, you know, 6,600 health's good. 
a lot of people again don't know about Rexy's. Um, you know, when it's threatened, it gets a, it gains a priority because it's not shown at all and unless you face up against it or have it. Um, not many people know about it, so it kind of catches them off guard. And I am won a game by doing that. Um, someone was like, "Oh, I've got you," and then all of a sudden I go first, and they're like, "What?" <laughs> so two. I mean, you saw that that video I made um, about like Tyrannometrodon absolutely wrecked 3-0 against the team, I think it was, or killed three of them anyway. Um, so, I mean, we're still on 6,111. We're still just barely clinging on of the new meta in Nublar Shores. Uh, you know, every time a new update comes out, unless you spend money or you already have the dinosaur's DNA, uh, you're very unlikely going to stay in the meta. And it's, it's a shame because... You've, we see a change all the time, and it's just the practice that they're doing. I really wish they wouldn't, but it's where we are right now. So we're going to do a couple of battles, and uh, let's see what the meta looks like, shall we? What opponents we face. Nublar shows! Yes! Okay, what are we going to do? What are we going to get? What are we going to get? Oh, Tyranno Valkyrie. Oh, a wreck. Two Rexies. <gasps> Again, I would love to have the Lystrosaur uh, a hybrid, but the thing is, Argentavis is so rare to come by, and because in the past, a lot of the DNA that, you know, when you could dart things, you'd rather have Albertosaurus or something else than Arden Chavis, but now it's gotten... Oh, it's just freaking ridiculous. Anyway, I'm gonna put, uh, you know, I'm gonna put Tyrannometrid on it, because why not? Uh, oh god. Oh god. Um, I, you know what it is? I think I'm going to, because he's probably gonna go for a cloak, right? I think he's gonna go for a cloak. And do I put, get him to swap out? Target auto swap. Yes! Ha <laughs> ha! Actually, this kind of works! Because this guy, unless he's faster. <laughs> oh, he blessed me. Maybe he is faster. Oh, God. I didn't think about that. Um, because he doesn't he gain a, a speed increase when he does the cleanse. Uh, oh, he reduces my speed. Am I immune to speed reductions? I am, thank God. And I'm quick. Okay, good. So I'm expecting him to go for a cloak here. I hope he does. Please do. Please do. Oh, for the love of God, please do. Please do. Yes! Yes! We foiled his plans. Sweet. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. And that's why Trino Valkyrie is a very good dinosaur because, you know, it has the ability to force that. Um, you know, it's good against flocks and it's also good against something that wants to set up like this. You know, Indonemis is a very good dinosaur. Um, uh, bye. He's like, oh, you bugger. You and because he escapes, I get immunity. Woo. <laughs> Uh, it's very good against taking out something that's just a tank. Um, and, ooh, a ref. Interesting. No, my attack. What's my resistance on it? Very good. Cool. Uh, right, yeah, let's do this. We cleanse ourselves. Um, he probably wants to go for a regular hit and not his priority here. Oh, actually, wait, it doesn't make a difference. He's dead anyway. <laughs> oh, potato on Valkyrie, man. Oh, that is ridiculous. Damn, not only foiled into Nemi's plan, but, you know, he didn't want to put Ref in there. Ref was his counter for Phlox, definitely. And a Scorpius. Very interesting. Very interesting to see a Scorpius here. Ooh. You know what? Fair enough. I feel like... Oh, I thought he was going to go for his... Um, is like instant camouflage but no he didn't interesting okay i resisted that is it a feels bad it's not a feels bad but it, yes it's it's always feels bad because everything has resistance resistance stun get rid of it Ludia. awful oh no oh 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 it's not good even if he does decide to go for his instant camouflage which maybe he should have done to start with um, I'm gonna hit him here, uh, and it's- it's unfortunate. How long does that shield last for, man? What? Yo, he goes for it, but it doesn't make a difference. I don't think so. Uh, he's still dead. Yep, still dead, and I go through his- Oh, unfortunately, everything has been perfect for- And- Oh, no, it's gonna be a 3-0, possibly. Is Indonemi's gonna come in? Please tell me. He could still get at least a 3-2. I think Max, he, uh, he's gonna get a 3-2 loss. Um, uh, it's in the enemies. Woo! Okay, and can we? Yeah. <laughs> you know what he's gonna do? He's just gonna go. Sod it! I'm gonna go for attack right away. Uh, but no, you're getting out of here, mate. Not happening. 
And because he swaps out, I get a shield. I don't know if I heal. I think I just get like 100% heal. Uh, shield. For a certain period of time. Uh, oh, did I have a move that gave me? Oh, it's the bear. Interesting. Um, I don't think this is good for him. Um, he's probably going to want to swap back, I would assume. If I was him, he's, yeah, I would probably want to swap back. Um, we could try and bleed him. And then if he does... Oh, he can't swap. That's right, because it's a swapping ability. So he gets locked in. Oh! Oh, whoa, whoa! Whoa, is him! <laughs> so, yeah. Tyrandon Valkyrie is completely, completely playing his team against him here. All of its strengths. I mean, we've seen two things here that aren't in the meta anymore. Scorpius Rex Gen 3 is, is not in the meta. The bear is no longer in the meta. And as you can see... A Tyranodon Valkyrie, the new Apex that got its buff um, and is being used the way I assume Ludio Jam City expect it to be used now is absolutely rinsing everything. And there you go. Doesn't matter what you put in, I can say, no, you don't. I'm getting rid of that. And then I can also, uh, you know, do a lot of stuff to you. I can hit flocks. I can bleed you. I can go through cloak. And there it is. A three friggin' nil win from a Tyranodon Valkyrie. That was... Oh, it... That was amazing. Wow. Okay. I know we should end it on a high there, right? But, you know, we I feel like we could go for one more. Let's do one more. That wasn't even a level 30 Tyranodon Valkyrie. That was a level 27. So imagine that with, like, an extra 600 health and maybe 200 attack. Ow! <laughs> okay, we've got our own version, right? So, very interesting. We have a perfect uh, synergy team here. We have the Comsil Raptor, which is good against taking big hits because it can't. And also the, uh, the Flyer. So, I'm going to start with Ref here because he may start with something. Ref has a lot of good openers. Uh, so, this is perfect. So, I will, I will just instantly go for my Distraction. And then, oh, swapping out. Perfect. Perfect. Um, I feel like maybe... Um, again, if I got stunned there, it feels bad. I'm not good with the Draco. But what I will say is that I can stun this thing at least for one turn and keep it in. Uh, so yes, you do a big chunk of damage. But now you're going to take... Well, you're going to take 3,000 bleed damage. I'm going to swap in this. And what's going to be very good is that by the time I kill his Anklos Lux, he's then going to go, right, let's put in my Indonemis, but I'm no longer locked in. And at that point, I swap out the Comsoraptor. And that's it. It's it's end of his uh, his Indonemis. I can already see the play he's going to go for there. I'm assuming that's probably what he's going to do. Um, we'll see. So, yeah, shielded. Uh, all that happens here is you're taking more damage um, and you're still locked in. Oh, I can't stun you. I can't. Interesting. I can bleed you and just make sure you die, though. Okay. I think it's it's a it's a lethal uh, amount of damage. No, no, it's not. It's only 0.25, so it's not going to kill him. Uh, he does not get his, um, his stun off. I think I might be immune to it. 50% actually. Wow. Okay. Again... Get rid of stun, man. It never feels good when you get it now because everyone's so resistant to it. So now he kind of has to uh, either swap or die. He's got his priority. He does have immunity, actually. Invincible. Ah, sorry. I'll go for my invincibility. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> hey, there's nothing you can do. So let's see what happens here with the swap in. Unless he has a paratops, there's nothing that's happening to me here. Except for maybe being stunned. It's an Indonemis. I thought... He had that perfectly lined up. Does he get the stun? Doesn't even get the... Wow, I'm being very resistant to this. So now what he could do is just go for a straight big hit. I feel like he's probably going to go for that. So with that in mind, we're going to switch to Compsoraptor. Now what's going to be good about this is that if he does do that, um, we're going to be in a position where we will be faster and we have a chance to even heal ourselves. Um, we'll see how this goes though. In my head, that's how it's playing out. But we've definitely got him on the back foot there. He does have an Anklos Lux that can swap in and be invincible. But let's be honest. I have I have a Rexy, so I don't need to worry about that. And there it is. And not only, not only does he not even, like, kill one of them. But it, it doesn't even go through a cloak. <laughs> so now he's left with a tough decision. He could probably switch to Anklos Lux at least. 
guarantee one of them dying, but doesn't even go for that and takes a huge amount of damage there. Um, I think he's going to go for his attack and switch, I assume, to at least kill one. Even then, it's not guaranteed, I don't think. Uh, oh, goes for a slower? Okay, I am immune to that. And now he's... Oh, I think I can kill him there. It's tricky. It's tricky. Um, I c I've got a high chance of getting a crit. Uh, I may as well do it. Let's see if we can get the crit. Um, let's see. Let's see. Holy crit. No, I don't get the crit. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. At least he's almost dead. So it doesn't matter what happens. This thing, it's not quicker and it's not going to counter. It's going to die. Definitely. So now he's in a tricky situation. He's probably thinking he can swap out to an Anklos Lux and then get a hit on the counter. And if he does that, it would be very, very bad for him. But at the same time, I, I'm kind of happy to take that, that risk for him. And I'm going to go for Indominus Rex. Oh, sorry, uh, Rexy. Because either way, he's probably just going to go for a swap out. Um, and if he does, like, attack and swap out, and if he does do that, um, I hopefully I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. Uh, but if he swaps out regularly, which he, he's probably swapping to, I knew it, he was gonna swap to freaking Anklos Lugs. I knew it! Get the guaranteed kill. I mean, he tried. Oh, it, oh, never mind, it was a Paratops! It was a Paratops! Oh, wow! Did not see that coming. Okay. A Paratops, Anklos Lugs. Both dinosaurs now that aren't used too much in the meta. Again, we're seeing this. Could be a pattern. Um, now he's... Yeah, he only has a heal. So if he only has a heal... Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, I'll do this. He might even just go for his regular hit. And if he does that, I'm, I'm happy with him going for his regular hit. I'm kind of hoping him just to heal and then get out. I think that's what he's going to do. Um... Oh, he doesn't. Well played. Well played. I was thinking he was just going to do that to get out and then maybe swap that in later. But at this point, he's running out of options. Really running out of options. He's probably going to go for the priority heal here. But all he's... Oh, no, he doesn't do it. We don't get the crit. Oh! Oh, damn! He's killed my Rexy. It's a 1-1. One, one, but it's pretty much game. He's got Anglos Lux almost dead. He's got um, his Indonemis, which is almost dead. His Paratops is almost dead. And that's all he's got. Everything is dead in one hit. Um, so, with that in mind, uh, there's literally nothing that he can do. Um, I will go for my Alanco Ceratops, and that is GG. Uh, if he goes for a heal, that is fine. Um, if he goes for, yep, go for the heal. He's probably going to swap next turn, maybe to Anklos. Uh, he doesn't have anything that hits everything except for uh, his tough group cunning impact. And I don't think he's going to get that uh, against my Compsoraptor. I think that the chances are, at this point, he's thinking it's pretty much over. Uh, he may even swap to his Anklos Lux here. Because um, he knows he can't hit me, I think. Am I? Oh, yeah. I, yeah. But if he does swap to Anklos Lux, I'm going to stun it. Oh, never mind. I stun him. <laughs> Fair enough. And the bleed is going to kill him. He shouldn't be able to heal because he was stunned. And he doesn't, and the bleed kills him. And wow, we are seeing the, I mean, two, four in total, old meta dinosaurs. Oh, he has a Cops of Raptor. Oh, okay. <laughs> interesting, very interesting. Um, that he doesn't, he knows I have a ref actually. And I think that's the reason why he deliberately hasn't put it in his Cops of Raptor just yet because he's he's been hoping, oh, he gets the crit, okay. Um, but that's fine, I can go for one hit. And then next hit will kill him. It doesn't matter what he does here. He could technically go for Rampage and run. Maybe he will. If he does, you know what? I'm going to predict him going for Rampage and run. He doesn't go for Rampage and run. Okay, okay. Probably... Oh, never mind. Because <laughs> the thing is, this guy even has a perfect counter for, you know, you know, it cleanses damage, goes through a uh, uh, dodge. But it doesn't matter. It goes through everything. And it, he, his team was completely... Powerless to stop. Like I said, this one. And wow, wow. A 3 0 and a 3 1. Again, very rarely happens to me. It's, but I think at this point, 
and taking on people that maybe don't have the best creatures, like, you know, that are good now, like the Triceratops and the uh, Tyrannodon Valkyrie. Well, they don't know it, so they haven't boosted it. So I feel like I haven't really hit those people who have those dinosaurs. Once I get to that stage, then we'll start struggling. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like, and until next time, when maybe new things come out, a new meta, God knows, we'll have to see. Maybe we'll do a night raid of the Scorpion, because I completely forgot it looks really good like that. But if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and until next time, I'll see you cuties, as always, in another video. Bye-bye. <laughs>